from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, my God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is... Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Now, if you already listened to the show... Up until this week, what I'm about to tell you probably doesn't matter that much to you because you're already listening. This matters more to people who, for whatever reason, have not been able to listen. People who have somehow been shut out of hearing our show because the local radio station isn't smart enough to put it on the air live or put it on at all. But um, CBS Radio announced this past week that the company has uh, begun an initiative with AOL to put all of its radio stations on AOL so you can hear them live. And that includes uh, all of the stations uh, in the CBS chain that carry our show. They're all on. They're all online, and you can hear. And uh, in many of the cities where formats changed, like San Francisco, uh, like Phoenix, like, where else do we get nailed by a format change? San Diego. San Diego. How's that Sophie station doing, by the way? Yeah, I know. Uh, Chicago. Turns out, by the way, I've been taking a look here. Uh, we actually have listenership statistics for uh, cities uh, that... Uh, have been deprived of the show or don't get to hear it live. And um, heavy online listenership in the following cities. I'm going to tell you. San Francisco, number one. <laughs> it's huge for San Francisco. Number one. Well, not quite. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> but a substantial number of listeners in San Francisco. Uh, Seattle. Because people have never gotten over the fact now in almost three years that we haven't been live. And I think folks at the company that put us on tape at 10 o'clock at night would be very surprised to know how many listeners are listening live. Um, a city where our daily show has never been on the air, but I recently made an appearance on the station. Washington, D.C. I appeared on their uh, their midday show. On uh, CBS's Washington, D.C. station, which runs our wine show on the weekend, but doesn't run the daily show. All of a sudden, D.C. listership shot up. These are uh, some of the cities where we've got substantial listership where we're not on the air live. And uh, my understanding, uh, how big and powerful is AOL still? You, I mean, you can't dismiss... There's something like 22 million members of AOL. And I think they may have increased that since they've made it free. But um, listenership to our online stream doubled. Literally doubled overnight by adding AOL. So I figured we would uh, have some fun with this. Because I, I, I have no idea... If people are, how are people using this? You know, I'm a, I'm a student of the media. I studied, uh, you know, Marshall McLuhan, if you know who that is, or who that was. And, um, I have studied how, how media are used. And I'm always fascinated with how people listen to our show, or how they found it. And in the case of adding AOL, and now uh, we have all these people who are tuning in from the stream that they're hearing through AOL. 
I'm just wondering how many people uh, happen to just pop in. People who are listening to us in cities where the show is not on the radio live. Maybe it's not on at all. I mean, maybe you're in New York City, or maybe you're in Chicago, or maybe you're in San Francisco. Are we on in San Francisco on that little tea kettle? Yeah. Okay. Did the infomercial guy not pay his bill? That what happened? It's usually how we get back on the air in San Francisco, I think. Um, you might be in uh, San Diego or Phoenix or whatever, but I'm wondering if you've uh, sampled this uh, radio at AOL and if, if you have friends who uh, have sampled it. Now, of course, uh, you can always listen through our website, blowmeuptom.com, but there are many people who have never heard of our show who wouldn't know to go to blowmeuptom.com, and they find it by going to places like AOL. Many people have found our show by listening to the uh, podcasts that are online and available from a variety of places, which is cool. But um, rather than... I I just want to talk to people who are not listening on a radio. People who are not listening on a radio, especially if you're listening through America Online. I would like to know... uh, How you found our show? Did you know about it? Were you just playing with the buttons? I mean, this big graphic interface comes up on the screen that that looks like a a radio with push buttons. Were you just punching buttons? Were you just uh, saying, hey, here's one, L.A., here's one, Dallas, here's one, Portland. Uh, did uh, Did you do that? Did a friend tell you about it? Did you just stumble upon us? So I don't care how you're doing it, or whether it's through AOL or through our website. Uh, of course, if you're listening on a podcast, you won't hear this until uh, at least a day or two after we've done the show, and then it'll be too late to call in. But um, this hour, I want to listen. Uh, I want to hear the calls only of people who listen to our show online somehow. You do not use a radio to listen to the show. You listen without a radio. I want to find out where you're from, what what city you're in, what country you're calling from. I want to find out um, how much uh, online listening you do. I want to learn more about that because I'm a tech freak, as I imagine many of you are. So if you're listening to our show without using a radio... The, that's all I need. You don't even have to have something brilliant to say. If you are listening to a, to this show without using a radio, using a computer, some kind of Wi-Fi device, if you're listening to us without a radio, do call me. Sound like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A bad girl is kind of like a scooter, okay? It, it, they're fun to drive until somebody catches you. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. How great is that now when you leave the country? When you are totally out of touch? Maybe you're in a city that doesn't carry the Tom Likas Show. You can go to radio at AOL, which I believe the uh, web address is radio.aol.com. You can go there and um, you go to the CBS radio page. You can listen to our show. I'm wondering how many people are using uh, the Internet to listen to our show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Matthew is calling from Rochester, Michigan. Is that Rochester, Michigan? Oh, Tom. Hello, Matthew. Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you so much, Matthew. How are you doing today, Tom? Uh, Do you care? Yes, do you care? (laughs) Of course I do. I'm doing Uh, great. 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 Um, I was just calling and say I am picking you up via the Internet right now. Um, I first heard your show when I was in the Navy stationed in Virginia Beach back in 1994. And uh, a buddy of mine and I used to just cruise around Virginia Beach when we were not on military time getting baked. And uh, that's how we discovered your show, cruising around getting stoned and listening to you. Oh, wow. That's a long time. 
Right, right. And then I got discharged from the service, honorably, thank goodness, <laughs> and uh, made it back to Detroit, and I told everybody I knew about the Tom Lyka show. I was like, you, you guys have to hear this show, but for some reason, I don't know if it was because of uh, the restrictions set forth by your parent company or whatever, but I couldn't find archives of the show anywhere. Well, they're and, online, uh, but you didn't know where to look for them. Well, were you online back then, though? That what What year was that? that? Like 95, 96, 97? No, 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 no. It was much less interesting than that. Uh, the uh, person running our company at the time uh, did not think the Internet could be monetized and did not think it was a good idea to waste our time putting stuff up on the Internet. What a fool. Well, anyway, in 1997, or, or thereabouts, it was either 97 or 98, I think it was, where, where 97 one in Detroit picked you up. And I was in heaven because I had Tom again from 6 to 10 every evening. You came here and did uh, some listener parties. Remember how a, how big were the crowds? Huge. Huge. Yeah. And babes everywhere. Right. Yes, we saw plenty of uh, plenty of Iraqs got signed there at the State Theater. Well, down yes. Down yes. Yes, so wonderful. the general manager of the station made sure to, to end that, and he put us on at 3 o'clock in the morning. Right. And I was miserable again. Right. And, uh, and just it was just like maybe a month and a half ago, maybe six weeks, and I decided I said, well, maybe maybe somebody's got some archives up. I'll go I'll go and check online and see what I can find. And your LA station KLSX has got you uh, on a live stream. So I started listening to the show again, and 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 it was right in time, Tom. It was right on time. I had just started dating this girl, and uh, we've been together maybe two or three weeks. And I asked her before, before we even really started dating, it was like our first date. I, I said, what's, what's the birth control situation like? And she says to me, well, I was, well. On, this, I, I was on this one pill and it was messing with my body. Right. So I talked to my doctor and he said that he could get me on another pill. So I was like, okay, I can deal with this. Of course, I'm going to use a condom every time. So it's, not that big of an issue right now, so I'll hit her back with this in a couple of weeks. So a couple of weeks go by, and I ask her again, so what, whatever came with that birth control situation? And she says, well, I didn't mean to misrepresent myself, but when I said that I, I got off of this one pill and my doctor told me that I could get on another one, that was three years ago when I broke up with my last <laughs> I had to, I had to dump that bitch, Tom. <laughs> it was very refreshing to hear you again, and like I said, it was right on time. It fell right in line with the situation that I was uh, going through, and I'm just so thankful that I, I have the opportunity to catch you again. So you need to tell everybody about it, Matthew. That's right, baby. Can you take me out Kingdom style? Boy, you are a long time listener. Here you go, Matthew. Fire. Hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. We're talking to people who are not using a radio to hear our show. Let's talk to Caesar. Caesar is calling from San Jose, Costa Rica, a California, Costa Rica, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Caesar. How are you? Good. I, I love your show. I, I, I listen to you all the time via your uh, blow me up. Let me have Tom.com, but I'm down here in Costa, beautiful San Jose, Costa Rica, and um, listen to you via AOL.com. Uh, I, 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 I was just, by the way, I, I don't know if you know this, I was just there in uh, the, the end of December, beginning of January. Really? Did you visit uh, all the, the beautiful beaches on the Pacific side? Uh, I, that's exactly where I went. I went to Kepos, and... Um, uh, and just had an amazing time. Yeah, yeah. The women out here are unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so do you live in Costa Rica? No, I'm actually down here for work. I, I, I live in San Diego, but I'm down here for work, and uh, I'm actually calling you from my uh, my phone now. But, yeah, I, um, I I turned a couple buddies on. They live down here, and they're going to be listening to you from now on uh, online. I love it. So... I'll be your disciple down here while I'm here, buddy. I need all the help I can get, Caesar. <laughs> Thank you so much for the call. Costa Rica, check it. 
One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. By the way, if you're in another country and the eight hundred number doesn't work, I've got a separate number for you. Our international number is area code three two three five two zero sixty two eleven. So if you are listening online from another country that doesn't uh, 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 recognize our eight hundred numbers, country code is one. The area code three two three, and the number five two zero six two one one. Let's say hello here to Carl in Granby, Quebec on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Carl. Long time listener, first time caller. Now, I know Quebec. Where is Granby? It's uh, about 40 minutes outside of Montreal. Uh huh. Yes, and uh, I tuned in. The first time I tuned in, I was uh, in the Bay Area around San Francisco. That was probably three or four years ago. Uh huh. Uh, then, uh, a little bit later, I moved to the Bay Area, so I was listening to your show all the time, like, every day. Uh, and since I moved back here, so I'm just listening online as often as I can, but obviously the, the time zone difference is not very convenient, but, uh, I try to tune in as often as I can, Tom. I love that. Yes, and I heard you're not, well, I, I know you're no longer, uh, on the air in the Bay Area, so that's really, really sad. Yeah, the whole station changed format to uh, another low-rated format. And, yeah, uh... <laughs> I noticed that. I, I noticed that. It's terrible. Every time I go back to San Francisco, I miss you so much when uh, I, 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 I'm uh, in the car. So <laughs> I understand. How many cities are you in now, Tom? We're on a, well, we're on about 20 cities. You may recall we had uh, switched from uh, Westwood One over to CBS and then making that transition. Yeah, you lose a certain number of affiliates uh, when you go to another company. That that's just natural. But we're in about twenty markets. Yeah, nice. Uh, it, w it would be awesome if you were in Montreal. But uh, you know what? I really doubt it's going to happen because a few years ago, like ten years ago, they kicked Howard Stern out because. Uh, oh, they kicked me out too. Uh, CRTC was on my ass when we were on in Vancouver. In Vancouver, yeah. And it was not because of obscenity. It was not because we did what Howard Stern did and attacked French culture. No, no. It was because I called somebody a retard. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you probably do it uh, once or twice a day. So I don't think that would work, right? Right. <laughs> so that means everybody in Canada now has to vote with their ears and listen online. Yes, that's what I'm doing. It's awesome. And I, I, I tell all my friends to listen to you. Uh, but everybody here is just pussified, Tom. I, I'm just trying to do my best, but it's it's hard. Yeah, there's no free speech on the radio in Canada. Nope. In fact, freedom well, of speech is not guaranteed in the Constitution. I. Yeah, here we can swear on the radio and do all that crazy stuff, but you can't say the real things like you do, so it's really different. Yeah. Yes, well, and you definitely need to get in Montreal, Tom, because... All my friends, they're getting married, they, they're having kids, all that stuff. And I tell them, stop doing that, listen to Tom, go to blow me up, blowmeuptom.com, and they just won't listen because yes. it's not you telling them. So, And I, I want to salute Canada now. I want to play your national anthem. Anthem of Canada, right? Yeah, it is, right? Yes, hockey night in Canada. <laughs> no, no, it's it's not hockey night in Canada anymore. You heard about that, right? Uh, well, you know what? I stopped watching hockey a couple years ago. I was tired of it. So, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, the, the CBC, which uh, has had hockey night in Canada on since it was a radio show. Yeah. Uh, they refuse to pay to license that song anymore for hockey night in Canada. Really? So uh, the competitor now, uh, the TSN, has bought the rights to the song, and it'll appear on there now. Yeah, really? Yes. I know uh, it, I know it used to be on uh, yeah, the, 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 the same for the French version of CBC. Uh, it's now a TSN, even in French. Look at that. And they changed the song. They changed the, the name of the, the program, everything. So you're probably right, Tom. Well, you're right. You're always, you're always right, Tom. Even, even in other countries, I'm always right. That's perfect. Exactly. Take me out, Lacey Peterson style. Oh, that is tasteless. Emmerich. Hey. Emmerich. Emmerich, 
One eight hundred five eight hundred ton. Now you see that the guy hasn't watched hockey in years, but everybody in Canada knows the Canadian national anthem as we know it. <laughs> All the Canadians going to come out of the woodwork now. All the Canadians listening to us online. All right, one 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Adam in Beacon, New York, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Are you there, Adam? Um, yes. How are you, buddy? Do you care? I absolutely care. I am the one New Yorker that is not a true New Yorker, let me tell you. The uh, only good thing about because you live in Beacon, New York. What? The only reason, the good reason to be in New York is that I actually got through today. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, this is a quick father-son story. My father, my parents are divorced, and my father moved out to the West real fast to San Francisco and Los Angeles. Now he's in Phoenix. And um, one day, about four or five years ago, I got an email from him to a link to your website just of the picture of how to spot a rich guy. For people that aren't, haven't been around that long, the rich guy picture is a really heavy set guy at the pool walking with a beautiful hot girl wearing a bikini. That's right. And I just started laughing when I saw that. And then I, of course, started looking at the website. And at first I'm like, what is this show? And then I kind of played it off a little bit. And my father said, when he goes, no, it's all about the Tabasco sauce. You got to worry about the Tabasco sauce. These <laughs> women will ruin your lives, just like my mother did to him. <laughs> I'm absolutely serious, Tom. So I'm out here in the, our, I actually said I'm out here in New York, which is kind of impressive. Um, <laughs> single mother, brought up like a complete pussy, and it's because of you and my father drilling me that I am finally free. I'm a college graduate. I'm getting ready to go to graduate school. I'm working my portfolio, and that's what I'm doing when I'm uh, working on it, listening to your show, Tom. I love and that, Adam. Now, now, now Adam, over, over the years, did your mother tell you your father was a jerk? Let me tell you, first off, my mother actually took my father to court 20 years after the divorce for more child support money last year, Tom. Oh, boy. And I was 21 when this happened. And I even wrote letters to the court, tried to hire an attorney, and the court said there's nothing I can do because I'm a child. Because in New Jersey, child support goes on forever and ever and ever. It doesn't end till the court says it does. Oh, my. And, you know, I felt bad for my father, and I tried everything I could do to get him out of it, but... You know, he's probably out there listening right now, and I want him to know that, you know, I did my best. Um, we've got out of it now, but I want to thank him and thank you, Tom, for everything. And I've been waiting years to say this. Can you blow me up, Tom? I certainly can. If you are not using a radio to listen to the Tom Likas Show, call us at 1-800-5800-TOM. And from outside the country, 1-323-520. 6211. Torben is listening to us on the big island of Hawaii on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Aloha, Tom. Aloha, Torben. And I do mean it. I'm a first time caller, short time listener, but I am now a long lifetime listener. I love love it. it. I love it too, man. I'll tell you what. I live on the big island and there's only about 150,000 people out, out here and I don't know how many People are in, uh, in the Los Angeles County. I'm guessing about nearly two million. Does that sound about right? In Los Angeles County, it's yeah, closer to Los four Angeles million. Uh, it's closer to four million, and in the metropolitan Holy area moly. of LA and Orange County, it's about eleven million. Holy moly! Well, I'll tell you what: for 150,000 people, your rules still work. Really? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, my goodness. Um, if I could tell you a, a quick little story. Uh, I was just helping out somebody. I'm 31 years old. I'm going back to school. You know, listening to you, I'm trying to uh, better myself, going back to school, just helping out a classmate with her uh, math homework. And she asked me out, and I let her know, hey, I'm broke. I'm, a, uh, I'm uh, unemployed. I'm a struggling alcoholic, this and that. I told her all the negative things. And she was over at my house that same night. (laughs) (laughs) I know you would love it. I do. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. So you're getting more ass than a toilet seat. Well, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Like I said, there's only 150,000 people. So, it's you know, it's a work in progress. I understand. Uh, But you also have uh, tourists who come there. 
Yes, I yes I do. I, I do. They're more on the other side of the island, but I'm um, trying to change my career to where I'll be on that side where it's a little more a little more active. Got to so, work the hotels. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Work work the hotels. Um, and, yeah, all that all that good stuff. You know? Yeah. I, you know, I actually uh, listened to you about my uncle lives in Ontario and Ontario, California, and he turned me on to you probably about. Oh, I want to say almost 12 years ago. Were you in the air there? About 10, 11 years yeah, ago? Yeah, I was. Uh, we were on okay. a couple of different stations. Uh, we were on one station where we had a, a, a 10% share of the audience, so they made sure to take us off there. Because he said something about, oh, yeah, this is, a, this is a, a Flash Fridays. And I said, what is that? And he told me about it. and. Every Friday out over here after Memorial Weekend, right. like I know your rule is, I drive with my headlights on, and I know you, you say don't call in and complain, but the list, I don't think anyone out here listens to you. I, I try, I try. I've been telling people about you. You know, I, I found out about you on myprops.org. I looked you up, and I got to your website, and I listen to you almost on a daily basis. I love that. Oh, me too. <laughs> My goal is to be the number one radio show, not only on the radio, but on the Internet. Oh, I'm sure I, I give you about a year or two, and you will be. I guarantee you. I, I, as I said earlier, uh, AOL added all the CBS radio stations, and we doubled our audience overnight, our online audience. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nice. So uh, if people can't remember the name of my website, just send them to radio at AOL. I definitely will because uh, this is something people need to learn out here because there's a lot of um, young people getting knocked up and it's and it's just a mess. You, you know, it's just lack of you know, like you always say, lack of education. It's always the people that have no education, their high school dropouts, and their parents are on welfare, and it's a joke. It's so true. I never, when I first listened to you, I was kind of thinking like, well, I don't really know about it, and then. I just thought about it for a day or two. I was like, no, it's totally correct. <laughs> I love it. Torben, thanks so much for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You really do not like women, do you? I love women. As long as uh, their breasts are in my face. It's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Are you listening to the show without using a radio? For example, are you using a computer? Did you use radio at AOL? Did you use our website, blowmeuptom.com? Did you go to uh, a radio station website? Just curious. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. If you're calling from another country, use the country code one. Then dial area code three two three and the number five two zero sixty two eleven. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Here is Yvonne. Yvonne is in Benson Hoist, Brooklyn, on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Hello, Tom, long time listener. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. Long time listener, first yeah. time caller. <laughs> you know, the last time I heard you on, on the radio, though, had to be about 15 years ago when you were here in New York for a while. Well, that wasn't 15 years ago, dear. If you're talking about when we were on FM in New York, it's, it may seem like 15 years, because I know you haven't heard us in a while. But, uh, no, it was only uh, the last time we were on the radio in New York on a regular basis was five months of 2001. Well, then I, oh, then I must have missed you because I remember when I was working and I would listen to you on my ride home from Long Island every day. And, and it was a long time. I'm sort of retired for, well, I call myself intentionally unemployed, but I'm sort of retired for a while now. And I remember just listening to you on the radio. And then one day you were gone. And, and I'm happily, I happily found you online. I'm through AOL. 
And, uh, oh, you I found into, it through AOL, really? Yeah, yeah, I got into the radio station. In fact, I just recently had to buy more memory. I was telling you, Rep, this. I actually went out and bought more memory because your your radio show was kind of skipping. I wasn't able to to hear it so cl- you know so clearly. So I said, I need more memory just for this. I, I needed more memory for you. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Most women try to expunge their memory of me. You were trying to buy more memory. Oh no, I love you. You're great. You're you're you know you're not the typical. I wish you were. Like, I wish there were more guys like out here, like you out here in New York City. It's it's like the guys out here are so lame and and. Are you talking about on the radio or in real and, life? No, in real life. <laughs> in real life, I'm 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 pretty independent. I I told you rep that I don't need a man to buy me dinner. It's a blanket expression I use, and and it's just it's just it's ridiculous out here. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? So uh, are you uh, are you uh, dating now? At the moment, no. No? Why not? No, I I can't be bothered right now. You can't be bothered? No, don't, no. Don't you have needs? <laughs> well, you pull out the power tools? How no, do you get that done? I'll, I'll, <laughs> I won't go there. I won't make a comment oh, I, about I that. live there. Yeah. Forget about going there. No, I, I just right now at the, at the time I have to do other things. I have to focus uh, on other things right now. I can't be looking for any uh, uh, enjoyment. Uh, I have no other enjoyment. Things. We can't be having any enjoyment. No, we can't. No, I have other... <laughs> not really. I just can't. I just can't tend to that. Riding the D train is enjoyment enough. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I'm really glad to talk with you because it's it's um it's really a pleasure. I just love your show. You're you're just unlike anybody I've ever heard on the radio. Um, you have my sense of humor. My my type of thinking. I just love it. I, I just hope you stay on the radio as long as you can. Really, I'll, I'm working on it. Good, good. I tell all my friends about you, and uh, I think they're kind of like you know they're getting into you, my you know themselves. But um, I'm a long time listener. I want to be number one in Bensonhurst. <laughs> Bensonhurst. Okay, Tom. It was really great talking with you. All right, Eva. Thank you. Thank you. Bensonhurst checking in. <laughs> Love your show. I listen all the time. You gotta love it. She bought more memory to hear the show. She's listening on AOL. I was like, I'm I'm blown away by this stuff. No enjoyment. Though. No, she has no time for enjoyment. And that's why she listens to the Tom Likas show. If you have no time for enjoyment, have I got a radio show for you? <laughs> Because there's nothing good you could say about the Tom Likas show. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. We're talking to people who are listening without the use of a radio. Noah is somewhere near Philadelphia. And apparently he's not sure where he is. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm trying to look for some landmarks, but it's all street. So You doing I what? Looking for landmarks. Everything trees out the window, but I'm on a Greyhound bus right now, heading to New York and D.C. I'm listening over a cellular modem, and I'm talking to you over Skype, right? You're list- You're using a cellular modem to hear the show, so did you have to use it through a website? How did you do it? Oh, no, it's, uh, you know, so it's like through a cellular provider to get online. And so I'm listening to you just from the website, clicking on the listen. Look at that. That's outrageous. And, uh, you know, I first uh, heard, I, I must have been 10 years now, I've been listening to you up in Seattle on the, the, the buzz or whatever, and uh, I've been listening to you online for the last couple of years in Denver. I uh, actually turned a good hardcore Christian friend of mine onto your wine show, and uh, a buddy of mine just gets uh, through a brutal sport, and I'm looking him up with the podcast. So uh, I don't really have much else to say, but I thought you might find that kind of... Uh, now, are you talking on the same phone you're using to listen? No, 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 this isn't a phone. This is my laptop computer. You're t- oh, you're I'm talking on your computer. Yeah, I'm like trying to be quiet in the corner. I don't want to bother the other uh, that, This is amazing. So you're using the computer. You're logged on using a cellular modem. You're listening online, and you're talking into the talking into the computer. Yeah, so you're familiar with Skype, right? You can put Oh, yeah. This is a Skype call. Dial a real, uh, a real phone. So, uh, I love it. By the way, uh, the, the, that's the number one phone company of, I believe, a number one of terrorists, aren't they? One of their favorite phone companies, Skype? Um, I don't know. I guess <laughs> I'm just guessing. I don't know. Didn't break, uh, German police didn't break the script, so, uh, That's a great way to evade detection. <laughs> yeah. <With all> your- <laughs> so I, 
I, that you are really creative. I wonder how many people do that. I wonder how many people have their laptop like in the car and then they have it plugged into the uh, uh, to like the iPod jack or something like that. It's funny because you know, I'm I, uh, doing this over here on the East Coast, but I'm actually from Oregon, and uh, the coverage is nowhere near. As, uh, uh, there's not as much penetration, so to speak. Uh, it was just over on the West Coast. This is going to happen, you know. Eventually, there's going to be Wi-Fi in cities, and then uh, the tyranny that is the average local program director who keeps people from hearing our show will be over. That will be toppled once people can use Wi-Fi to listen to radio stations in their car. Then, then we'll find out how many listeners we really have. Absolutely, I'm actually a uh, telecom engineer, and I mean, it's like three years, maybe four thousand or big winners everywhere. Well, I know, I know in this business we're fascinated with seeing what people are going to come up with. Some people are scared. I'm not afraid. When you've got great programming, it doesn't matter what the platform is. do not matter. Noah, thank you for that. Very creative. I like it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Now they call I told you, you play that, uh, that, that hockey theme and, uh, all the people in Canada come out. Steve in Saskatoon, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom! Hello, Steve! I love you. You are a father. I am indeed. Did you hear your national anthem earlier? I did, I did. I absolutely <laughs> did. Uh, I just want to say, that uh, thank you so much for playing that. I know there's probably about all 32 million of us Canadians standing, and uh, you know we had a little tear in our eyes. Our national anthem played. Yes, absolutely, standing saluting the uh, NHL logo. <laughs> it's amazing that it's left the CBC. I think it's been like 40 years there. That's an um, yeah. It actually has been, uh, I believe, 40. You were exactly right. 40 years, 40 seasons. Yeah, Tom. I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I've been listening to you now for actually since you were on the radio in Vancouver. At, uh, I think it was called Mojo. Right. This was a few years ago. <laughs> I remember that, uh, that beautiful TV news anchor that you offered money to to expo- expose her, expose her breath. Yes. <laughs> that was one of my highlights of my days. I was, uh, going through a rough period. I'd listened to your show. And then, of course, uh, that radio station that was carrying you. I think it's like an all traffic station now. That wouldn't surprise me. It is. It's, it's an all traffic station. All traffic. All the time, yes. <laughs> and uh, a couple of years ago, I was down in Los Angeles, and I discovered uh, Free FM, and I love it. And, of course, there was Tom Likas, and I tell you, I listen every, every afternoon religiously online. I love that. Thank you so much. You're an inspiration to all men out there. I've got my son listening. Uh, don't want him to make the same mistakes I made along the li- way, and uh, you've changed my life. Thank you, Tom. Sounds good to me. Thank you. We got Brendan here. Brendan is listening in Phoenix, where we had the number one spoken word radio program on the air, so they decided to change that format. Uh, Brendan on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Brendan. How's it going? Doing okay. Um, yeah, I'm just listening here in Scottsdale. They took you off the radio, and I uh, wanted to throw my car radio out the window. By the way, the I, I hear they aced the program director of the uh, format that replaced us there. He was really? on the job just a few months. He's already got uh, he got blown out. Yeah, it's some crappy hip hop station now, just like every other station on the radio these days. It seems like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I just want to tell you that I love the show. Listen every day, and uh, you really helped me. My girlfriend of three years broke up with me like six months ago, and I started listening to you again. Now I get more ass in the toilet seat. I love that, Brendan. Yeah. Well, thanks, Dad. Son, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Well, who do we have here? Look at this. Another city where uh, we got aced. Uh, Jeffrey is in Baltimore. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Doing okay. Yep. I used to listen to you back in uh, 2000 or so when you were here in Baltimore for I don't know how long, and then all of a sudden you disappeared. Yeah. Yep. Stations, there's some stations have a hard time with increasing ratings and revenue. They, they got a problem with that. Yep. I, I tell you what, you got me through a really rough time. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that, Jeffrey. That's my role in life, for God's sake. The Tom Likas Show.